Welcome to the BISP solution. So today we will see how to create the parent sheet by movement form. Just go to your application, click on the navigator button. Under create and manage, you can see the form as the option. Click on the form. This page will get opened up. For creating a form, you can see an action tab. Click on the create simple form. I have already created uh, the form as balance sheet to underscore 2109. I'll just show you that only. Define the form name and under layout, you have to define all the intersections. Okay, under row side, I have taken account. And under column side, I have taken the movement because I want to show balance sheet of uh, heads under, under the row uh, side and movement for the respective head under the column side. Okay, that's why I have taken the account under row side and movement under the column side. And the, and the uh, other POVs I have just kept in the POV and on the page side. Okay, uh, I have taken the financial FI15 as my year, currency as entity currency, product as no product view as periodic, multi gap as local gap. I have taken the entity as C underscore 101. I have taken the data source as data input. I have taken the scenario as forecast, consolidation as entity input, intercompany as no intercompany, and peer width as gen. Okay, so after defining all the POVs, just click on save and click on preview. You can see here from here the uh, layout of the form. See, these are my uh, balance sheet items like cash, short term receivables, lend. These all come in the total asset side and short term debt, long term debt, and common stock. These all three will come under the total liability and equity. I have defined here all the movements. Okay, so uh, cash. Figure is 2525. Okay, and it will be affected uh, the movement will be the changes in cash short term receivable movement will be also the changes in cash land that is in the changes in capital expenditure the amount is 1 lakh 10000 short term debt that is 5000 it will come under changes due to proceeds from debt long term debt will also come under changes due to proceeds from debt common stock will come changes due to issue of stock okay so my total of the asset side is 1,20,000 and total liability and equity side is also 1,20,000. This is uh, the way how we create the form and I'm showing the balance sheet side and I'm showing the uh, effect of these items by movement uh, dimension. Okay. So this is the way how you uh, create the form and define the respective movement uh, for each respective head. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask. Thank you.